team's perspective. We started the day um, 120 odd without loss and couldn't quite get to Indian, uh, India's uh, first total target. But look, we we, we battled hard. Um, conditions changed throughout the day, um, and we got to have a little bowl at them tonight and and, and get one one really important wicket. So. Um, Look, we could have always scored more runs and would have liked to, but um, it wasn't to be. Um, but look, heads are up. Um, and yeah, the boys are looking forward to a good day tomorrow. Just a quick comment on your partnership um, with Tom Latham, 151. Uh, a bit of a record stand as well. Um, yeah, I suppose how much did you enjoy batting with him? What were the conversations you guys were having out there as you ticked, ticked past the many milestones? Yeah, Tom's a um, lovely man to bat with. He's a um, very cool customer. Um, he's he's been very successful in these conditions before, um, and yeah, I've had the pleasure of batting with him um, from right from club cricket um, and Christchurch um, right the way up to to international cricket now. So um, Tom was awesome. We sort of kept each other going and discussed various options of where to score and how to score. Um, and yeah, it was just nice to um, to tick off a wee milestone like that, Willie. But um, yeah, no, hopefully we can we can replicate the same and have another strong. Uh, partnership in the second innings. Cool. Just before I pass it over to Christian, just on your own batting, um, obviously uh, we saw you score runs in the edge best and testing in England as well. Now to back that up with, with another contribution, you must be feeling, I suppose, quite content with your game or it's it? Yeah, I think um, it's just an innings at a time, really. You can't really rest on your laurels at all um, in this game, especially as a batsman. Um, so, look, I'm just grateful uh, for another opportunity to, to represent um, New Zealand and, and wear the fern and, and contribute with the bat and score as many runs as I can. Cool, I'll pass it across to Christian and then we'll go to Ian Anderson from Stuff after Christian. Yeah. Uh, yeah, hi Will. My, uh, my question is, uh, yesterday the, the, the uh, last two sessions that you played and when you uh, like, did you any them or the pace of the delivery that which the Indians were bowling. If you could just uh, tell us about that. I'm sorry, there. I've I've lost pretty much half of your question um, through the audio. Do you mind repeating that? Hello. Am I audible? Yep, I can hear now. Can you repeat your question, please? Hello. Hello. Krishan, just having some internet problems there. I think the question may have been about the pace of the Indian spinners, but um, we'll go to Ian Anderson at home and stuff, and then we'll come back to Krishan. If you want to even type your question, I can ask it. Will, thanks. Yeah, hi, Will. Just a little uh, further on, on what you were saying about how, how the pitch changed. So what, what was the difference between day two and three throughout sort of day three today? Um, yeah, good question, I think. Um, Right, right from day one, there were there were visible cracks on the wicket. Um, end of day three, um, I know it's winter here in India, but it's still twenty eight degrees, and I, I guess the cracks potentially are just opening up a little bit further. Um, as well as three days worth of, of fast bowlers, um, you know, creating footmarks and, and and a bit of a rough for the spinners to aim at. So I think um, obviously the rough has 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 grown, um, but also potentially the cracks are starting to to open up fractionally, and therefore a little bit of uneven bounce too. I think a lot of our batsmen today were beaten by um, low bounce, um, well, back off bounce. So, um, yeah, I suppose that's like a general summation of, of where the wicket's at now. And I'd expect for, for those things to, to continue further for the next two days. And uh, will I have another question. Uh, question. Sorry, still going uh, Sorry. Well, was it, um, was it tough for, uh, for the batsmen to try and find that balance between sort of caution and batting time and some sort of sort of controlled aggression to try and sort of take over the game a little bit, given given the wicket, I suppose, being a key factor? Yeah, look, I think each batsman's gone out there with their own method of how they're going to combat the conditions um, and also the Indian bowlers who are, who are highly skillful in these conditions. Um, and, you know, different days, different methods work. Um, you're right, it, it, is, it is tricky to find that, that balance between defence, spending time in the middle and getting used to those conditions and also um, aggression and, and, and how to take those calculated risks to, to keep this, the scoreboard ticking over. Um, so yeah, as I say, everyone's got their own methods. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's still two innings. Both both teams have, 
they've got a bat on it in the second inning. So it'll be really interesting to see um, how both teams go about that as the game progresses. And just one more on a personal front regarding your innings. Was there thoughts coming into your mind of, of, of a ton looming there for a while? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to be honest, um, uh, my maiden test ton is, is in the back of my mind. But um, look, I, I think the only way you're going to get there is, is by by concentrating as hard as you can on each and every ball you face. And um, yep, I, I I fell short today. Um, but hopefully in the second innings and, and, and hopefully through the test to come, there'll be um, yeah, more opportunities to, to take that one off. Thanks, Paul. Cheers. Oh, I think we've uh, lost Krishan there, so um, we might wrap it up there, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yep. can, I, can I go? Can I go ahead with my question? Yep. We've got you at the moment. Will uh, saw a picture of you uh, maybe a few years back in India where you were told to practice by your then Canterbury coach Gary Stead uh, without uh, a pad on so that you can sweep well. Could you just tell us about that? Like to, uh, how, uh, to tackle the spinners, uh, tackle the spinners how uh, Stead told you? Yeah, you did right. So um, it would have been three or four years ago now. Um, Gary Stead was the coach of, of Canterbury, um, domestic team back home. And I jumped on the back of um, a bunch of um, keen cricketers to come over and, um, and learn about the art of, of batting and playing spin in India. Um, and uh, Gary, um, at one point, um, you know, we were training for, for nearly two weeks in these conditions. And at one point, one of the drills was to, to sweep without the front pad on. Um, and I know what you're referring to. I saw a photo um, of in an article at the time um, and I was down on one knee sweeping without a pad so it's just the old better use your bet otherwise your shin's going to get bruised so um, yeah it was one thing that Gary threw at me back in the day um, and and yeah it's uh, it's um, it's still a work in progress the sweep shot but yeah a good draw and Niharika to finish please uh, hi, Will. Uh, Niharika, this side. Uh, my question for you is that what are the main takeaways from you from this knock of 89 as a, as an opener in Indian conditions? That's a good question. Um, I think I think there's just the ebbs and flows of of a test innings over here. You know, um, walking out to bat with Tom first up, there's obviously the new ball to, to contend with, um, and and the seamers. There's only two seamers in this Indian side at the moment, so. Um, first up, you know, you've got to see if the ball's swinging, if it's, you know, the bounce of the wicket, if there's nip, sideways movement, things like that. And then, you know, you get through that phase of the partnership and then it's right spin and, and, and a new ball with, you know, with a hard seam and you get through that stage and, you you know, you're with your mate and you're, you know, conversing, communicating, seeing what's working and what's not, what the options are. And I think, you know, there's going to be times in the test innings where, where you're struggling to score, where you're... Um, you know, potentially on, on top, but that's all good. You're, you're sort of just riding the wave and um, and ultimately batting as long as you can. Um, yeah, I mean, small targets. Um, Tommy and I kept this, kept um, each other going and, and yeah, it would have been nice to, to keep batting with him this morning a bit longer, but um, it wasn't to be. But um, yeah, I think that's the main takeaway is, is to play the long game and, um, you know, ride those ebbs and flows. Thanks very much, guys.